All right, this is William Haley coming to you live via YouTube, Facebook, wherever else I can find and plaster this video. Um, I got to try and keep this under six minutes because for some reason, uh, my little tablet, when the video gets to six minutes, it starts uh, like separating the voice and the picture by about 30 seconds. So, um, me, I'm going to tell you about myself. Here's what the purpose of this video is. There's a lot of people been showing interest in me. My uh, hopeful upcoming racing season, uh, um, you know, my online magazine that I'm the editor of, which is American Street Kings, that can be found at American Street Kings backslash Facebook, uh, www.americanstreetkings.com. Basically, all it is is we showcase and spotlight local hot rods of all kinds, uh, semi trucks right down the lawnmowers. You got something that's hot, we want to see it. Uh, get a hold of us. Uh, we want to take pictures of uh, your four wheelers, your lawn mowers, uh, your mini bikes, your race cars, your hot rods, whatever, whatever. Okay. Um, second of all, uh, I'm paralyzed. I've been in a wheelchair for two years. Had a single vehicle accident uh, three days after Christmas on my way to work in the morning. No drugs, no alcohol, no texting, no radio, no nothing involved. A uh, slick piece of road in a curve did me in. Um, been two years trying to recover from that physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and here I am. Um, trying to be a good dad, trying to be a good father, uh, trying to find some avenue to get out of my head, out of this house, um, and focus on just being happy and healthy and um, things of that nature. Um, so basically, what it is, is, um, you know, a lot of people have been showing an interest in this uh, up, up, up and coming racing season that I've been uh, trying to put together. And basically, what we're wanting to do is put together a mini stock or a Hornet. Preferably a Hornet. Uh, mini stock seems to be a dying class. Um, you know, I guess the only difference between the two is the mini stocks, you know, a rear wheel drive, you get out there and kick it sideways like the big boys. Hornet, you know, it's kind of straightforward driving, in my opinion. Um, but they're cheap, easy to maintain, uh, a good format for me to get out there and see if I'm physically up to jarring around a racetrack every Saturday night. Um, you know, and if that's not the case, you know, not a whole bunch of money has been involved, not a whole lot of people's time and effort and whatnot. And we'll try again next year. Um, you know, um, more so than the racing my goal is to be a good dad and a good husband. And, um, you know, by the grace of God, I'm still here. Um, by the grace of God, I get a good friends network, everybody through Facebook, everybody through Twin Cities Raceway, everybody that I've met uh, through Will McRoberts and McRoberts Racing. Uh, you guys give me the, the drive to keep going, you know, um, and I thank you guys all for that. I want to say uh, Joe Merrill. Lives out in Bend, Oregon, 17 years in a wheelchair, rookie of the year, Madras Speedway in Madras, Oregon. Uh, does more from that wheelchair by noon on Monday than most people do all week. Um, has helped and guided me through all the little struggles, all the little pitfalls of being in this wheelchair. He's a godsend. God put that man in my life from one reason some 10, 12 years ago because he knew what was in store for me. And he knew I needed someone like Joe to help me get through it. I thank you, God, and I thank you, Joe, for being the truest friend I've ever known. Okay? I got to thank Will McRoberts and uh, Will's Auto Care, Madison, Indiana, the best bar none mechanic in the state of Indiana. You got a problem with your car, go see Will. Good family man, good racing man, good Christian man, good businessman. Uh, he'll meet and beat any advertised price, and I promise you, Oil changes, tires, exhaust systems, engine overhauls, whatever. He does it all. Um, and he's the best. And his prices are right. You can't beat it. He'll work with you. Go see Will. Um, that shop right there supports three race cars, four kids, a house, a wife. That takes a lot of money right there. Um, you know, a college education. Uh, you know, he supports me. Uh, that man does more for me and my family than anybody ever has. Well, my hat's off to you, brother. I don't know how you do it, but I love you, man. I love you, and I'm with you to the end. 
Um, maybe he doesn't like that. I don't know, but he's a good man, and that's the place to get your car fixed for sure. Um, you know, uh, I got to give a shout out to Arm, A R M, Association of Recovering Motorcyclists. Tuck, uh, Steve, all the brothers from Arm reached out to me um, even before I had my accident. You know, when I was trying to get sober and when I'm trying to clean my life up, they put their arms around me and they haven't let go since. Great guys. Check them out. They're on Facebook. They got a page. They're nationwide. In fact, they're worldwide. Um, you know, biker lifestyle minus the drugs and alcohol. Great people. Family oriented. Awesome people. Get a chance to go out to one of their parties. You ain't got to have a bike to go hang out with them. Uh, everybody's welcome. Support these guys, man. They're worth it. And you'll have a good time. I promise you that. Um, I got to thank all my 600 plus Facebook friends. You guys ain't friends. You're family. And uh, I'm running out of time. So I got to hurry up and just say, I love you guys. Thank you for all them little notes of encouragement every single day. It's great. Um, Twin Cities Raceway Park. You guys said, hey, you think you can do it? We don't care if you're in a wheelchair. Come on out here and get her done. I thank you for the opportunity. I thank you for giving me a venue to try and fulfill my dreams in. I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. Um, I got to tell everybody, get on Facebook, search Evan Evans, E-V-A-N, E-V-A-N-S, Racing. This man not only wins races, he wins championships in a trophy truck. That's right, trophy truck. Short tracks, Baja 1000, all that. Paralyzed, just like me. He doesn't do it by himself, and I don't think I can either. Hence the point of this video. Um, I got to thank God. And I know I probably, you know, tattooed out, you know, looking crazy. Um, I probably don't meet the textbook example of, you know, a child of God. Uh, you know, if, God was, if Jesus was walking this earth right now, he wouldn't be in the churches. He'd be all the places I used to hang out. You know, he'd be walking around the taverns, the dope houses, the horror houses, you know, back road, the truck stop, uh, you know, he loves everybody, but he knows who needs him, you know, and he was always there when I needed him. And I'm not trying to turn this into a biblical video or whatever, you know, but I cannot sit here and deny the one who has given me life twice now. I should have died two years ago, man. You guys could have seen that accident. You're like, oh my God, how did anybody survive? By the grace of God. That's the only way. So that being said, thank you, Lord. You know, prayers to the man upstairs. Here in this house, we're backwards legit. We don't take no lip. Chew the back, chew the back, chew the back, spit. Thank you, Blake. Mm. I never heard it said any better. Um, I got to thank all my friends. Chris Webb. Uh, Chuck Dunphy. Uh... All the McGraw boys, you know, everybody, you know who you are. You know who you are. You know, I got to thank my family. I got the best kids, the most beautiful daughters, the smartest son. Uh, I got the best brothers and sisters, the best mother the world has ever known. Uh, you know, and the Lord blessed me with by far. All you guys out there, I'm sorry, but I got the best wife. Um, this woman has not had a day off in two years. She takes care of me around the clock. She does it with a smile on her face, a song in her heart. And I've asked her many times, babe, why don't you just walk out that door, man? Take your stuff. Take your kids. Take my car. Take everything. Go and have a happy, normal life with some able-bodied man that can take care of you instead of you having to take care of them. She said, you're a goofball, man. This is a normal life, and I love you. And I'm not going nowhere. That's from God, man. That's from God. So I'm going to cut this off. We're at 10 minutes. I hope it looks all right because this thing's been having a hard time going past six. But, you know, I'm just long-winded. I can't shut up. What else do I have to do? I sit here all the time. If you want to help support me, if you want to help support this racing effort, um, you know, there's a couple ways you can do it. Get a hold of me. I'm on Facebook. I'm at William.Haley71 at Gmail. William.Haley at Yahoo.com, Facebook, uh, www.AmericanStreetKings.com, Will at AmericanStreetKings.com, uh, 
you know, you can tweet me, IronWill71. Uh, get a hold of Will McRoberts. Get a hold of, you know, stop down at Will's Auto Care and tell him, say, hey, man, how can we get this guy in a race car? You know, you got a car you want to donate? Dude, you're not going to go without mention. And trust me, I'm trying to blow this thing up, man. I want to get some nationwide sponsorship. I want to go to the top. My goal is Evan Evans. You know, what he does in a trophy truck, I want to do in a late model. And I can't. I can't. You know, and I know there's a lot of people thinking, man, how are you going to, you know, engage a, uh, you know, a Burke transmission or something like that? Trust me, brother. I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's make it happen, man. Everybody can get in on this, and there's enough publicity spots for everybody. Think of how this would blow up your business, your racing team, you know, you know, the people that would that would jump out of the woodwork when they see this thing off the ground, man. This has potential, man. This has potential, you know. And uh, I just want to show everybody else that's out there in a the wheelchair that doesn't have the benefit of knowing someone like Joe or uh, someone like my buddy Ace down in New Mexico who is an ARM member, been in a wheelchair for some 20-some-odd years, you know. People that don't have benefits of knowing people like them and get thrown into a wheelchair and think that's the end, I want to show them no, it's not. You know, my motto is, oh, no, I, you know, don't tell me I can't do it. Oh, yes, I can. You know, don't let that wheelchair fool you. Don't let that wheelchair fool you, man. That's all I got to say. Thank you very much.